our Father, we thank you for calling us in Christ to be salt for the earth and light for the world. Grant this time of prayer and reflection might strengthen our desire to shine brightly in Jesus' name and to use the gifts you have given us to serve others in love. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord. We gather not in our own name, but in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I welcome you all who have come to share in this very special celebration. We gather today to give thanks to God for you, for your talents, and for your contribution to our school community. Over the last seven years, you have made history. We also meet to pray for you as you embark on the next stage of your life journey. You came in year seven with your many undiscovered God-given gifts and talents. Your teachers, parents and carers have helped you discover and celebrate the gifts that you've been given from the Holy Spirit. And you leave here today as talented, beautiful and flourishing individuals. God our Father, our life is blessed with many good gifts. Make us truly thankful for the gifts of our own personalities the gift of people who guide us and help us grow, especially our parents and carers and teachers. May we be your presence in the world, in how we relate to others, in all that we say and all that we do. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Whilst for many, today is a reflection of seven years spent at St Joseph's. For others, it is just about two years here, or perhaps five years or some other number in between. For some, leaving at the end of this academic year is about going on to study at university, apprenticeships, gap years or full-time employment. But with thankfulness for the experience of years here at St Joseph's. For many staff, colleagues also leaving this year, there's a shared sense that St Joseph's has means much more than just any other school. This service, in celebration of you, and this whole day, have its moments of great thankfulness for its times of thoughtful and even sad reflection. A special time coming to its end. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Do not be afraid. But now, thus says Yahweh, who created you, Jacob, and who formed you, Israel, do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Should you pass through the sea, I shall be with you or through the rivers, they shall not swallow you up. Should you walk through fire, you will not be scorched, and the flames will not burn you. You are precious in my eyes, and I love you. Do not be afraid. The word of the Lord. When you don't know what you're gonna do, is from St Paul's letter to the people of Rome. In it, he reminds us of the way we should live as Christians. It is good advice for anyone about to go on a new journey. For it says, Be a real family, warm-hearted in your care for one another. Look forward to God's new world with gladness. In hard times, stand your ground. Never forget to pray. Share other people's happiness and other people's sadness. Learn to respect everyone. As far as you can, be friends with everybody. The word of the Lord. I want to make just three points, three small messages or pieces of advice about the journey that lies ahead for all of you. The first is about appreciating your family and friendships. Whatever happens to you, you have family and friends and they are never far away. Particularly in this age when communication is so easy with mobiles, Twitter and Instagram and many more. You need to be prepared to use it more than just the exchange of the trivial conversations and enable yourselves to really connect with those you love. Family and friends are so important. 
when you are being knocked by the harsh, cold winds of life, as you will be at times, and it can make you feel very lonely, just make the effort to look around you and try to connect with your family and friends, because they are there for you. Don't shut your loved ones out. Talk about connecting with your parents, carers and grandparents when you are far away from home. They do worry about you because they love you. Just drop them a hello once in a while. My challenge is to tell them that you love them often. If you do, they won't be able to take the smile off their faces. They love you very much. My second piece of advice is that whatever happens in your life, do not be a victim. Remain in charge of your own fate and your own destiny. You are the masters of your fate. You are the captain of your soul. So always make sure that you are in charge of what you do and that you determine your own pathway in life. You cannot control what others do. But the one thing you can control is your response to whatever circumstances might befall you. This generation is yours and it is your time to use what you have learned for positive outcomes. You must now take the drive and determination from your time here. For today is not just the day that you leave, it is the day that you move to a higher level of living. Take charge, and then let yourself become a victim, and live your own life. Take with you the words, be happy in the here and now, and enjoy the moment. This is an important motto, especially coupled with, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My third and most important piece of advice is not to forget your faith. You have been on the most incredible faith journey here at St. Joseph's. You may not have realised it, but each one of you has developed your journey of faith just through the everyday actions you carry out. Whether it be helping with your friends, making them laugh, help them through a crisis, and believe you me, there will be many crises. But remember, the crisis is not the end, he is the beginning. He is not the welcome, he is the bon voyage. He does not sit back restfully on soft clouds, but is battered by the waves just as we are. Whatever your beliefs, don't ignore your soul and its journey. It needs care and development to provide the values, the framework, the faith and the purpose that you need. Not just to survive your journey, whatever life puts in your way, but to flourish and actually achieve all that you might be. God is walking beside you every step of the way. I say this every year. I can safely say in my school days, the best days of my life. I hope you think the same. I hope that you might think back to who you were seven years ago and see St. Joseph's as being in some sense of a foundational rock or cornerstone for who you have become. I hope you have been given the challenge by those of us who have taught you to always look at life in a way that you can dare to be different from the rest. And if I might dare to be amongst those who leave you with something to take away, today it would be in hope that you can still see God and faith as something good 
in your lives. As I have said on many occasions, I hope that from your experience at St. Joseph's, you can be amongst those who stand up for the love, the hope, and the truth that sincere faith can bring to this world. That is a message I have tried to share in our times together over the last seven years. I cannot summarize it better but in the words taken from St. Paul's letter to first Christians in the city of Rome. And I hope that they may be an inspiration to you and a guide to put into your everyday life. A reading from Romans chapter 12. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honour. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer, Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peacefully with it all. Many times I've been humbled by the kindness of your hearts. Next week will be empty without your company. There are great times ahead. No doubt starting to come about at the stone house. Parents and carers, thank you for choosing us as your commitment to St. Joseph's. I hope that your experience with us has been enjoyable and rewarding. I believe that you only have to look at your children to know that you made the right choice. So after you reach year 13, as you move on to your new phase of life, throw yourselves into all the opportunities that are available, available to you. Enjoy the presence of every moment, challenge and possibility. But most importantly, and above all, enjoy the presence of our Lord, walking and working with you, making you the best you can be. I ask you one small thing today, year 13. In the silence of your hearts, that means in silence, look around you one last time and absorb all your memories. Let us pray that we may be truly grateful for the gift of God in our lives and for our friendships. We look now to the future and pray for everyone here and for our own intentions. Lord, we thank you for the support of our parents and carers throughout the years. We hope that they know how much we love and appreciate them. Although sometimes we might have difficulty showing it, we pray that they know how important they are to us. Lord, we pray for the staff of St. Joseph's. We would like to thank them for their guidance and support throughout these memory, memorable years. We also pray for the students, may they be ambitious in their work. Happy in everything, 
happy in everything they do and always have hope in their futures. This morning, we think of all the friends we have made during our years at St. Joseph's. We remember our laughter and our tears. Lord, as we reach this stage of our lives, journey may we be blessed with good friends. May we always carry with us good memories of our school friends. There are people already in your keeping, Lord, with whom we would have liked to have shared this special morning. Our lives are better for having known them, and we are grateful for that. We pray that they may know how much they are loved and missed. Lord, as we leave this stage of our lives, may we always keep the light of hope in our hearts. With each new day that comes, and every step that we may take, may we always remember the true essence of the human spirit that is hope. As we reach this crossroads, may we be guided and help to choose the right road and to make the best of the gifts we have been given. Guide us to remain true to ourselves as we step tentatively into the future. God our Father, we ask you to listen to these prayers and give an importance to your will, grant them. As we look back with thanksgiving to God, who guided and strengthened us all through the crossroads of our lives, we pray that he will continue to chart the path ahead, which we place into his hands. Let us sum up all our prayers with the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Don't Quit by John Greenleaf Whittier When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When all is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint on the clouds of doubt, and you can never tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems far. So stick to the fight when your hardest hit it's when things go wrong that you must not quit. I chose the following clip as I think it is a powerful and inspiring message that can reach out to everyone, especially to those who have been confused with what to do with their lives. Each one of you will make an impact on the world. How you do it is your choice. When you do it is also your choice. Do not be compelled by time. <laughs> Right, everyone looking forward, please. Good morning, Year 11s. Today's assembly is about the start of the journey, the start of the rest of your lives. In two years' time, all of you will have been finishing your A-levels. In three years' time, you'll be studying across the world, studying at the university of your choice. In five years' time, you'll have started your careers. Many of you will be in this room working for the top institutions across the globe. You will then get married. You then may buy a house. In 10 years time, your life will be set for you. In 15 years, you'll be 30. And from then on, your path and your life will be set. I'm sorry, Mr. Headmaster. Let me tell you why that approach may fail you. I know people who graduated at 21 and didn't get a job till they were 27. I know people who graduated late at 25 and they found work immediately. I know people who never went to university but found what they love at 18. I know people who found a job straight out of college, making decent money, but hate what they do. 
I know people who took gap years and found their purpose. I know people who were so sure about what they were going to do at 16 and changed their mind at 26. I know people who have children but are single. And I know people who are married but have had to wait eight to 10 years to have children. I know people in relationships who love someone else. I know people who love each other but aren't together. So my point is, everything in life happens according to our time, our clock. You may look at some of your friends and think that they're ahead of you, or maybe some of them you feel are behind, but everything happens at their own pace. They have their own time and clock, and so do you. Be patient. At age 25, Mark Cuban was a bartender in Dallas. It took till 32 for J.K. Rowling to be published for Harry Potter after being rejected by 12 publishers. Ortega launched Zara when he was 39. Jack Ma started Alibaba when he was 35. Morgan Freeman got his big break at 52. Steve Carell only got his break after 40 years old. Virgin was started by Richard Branson at 34. Getting your degree after 25 is still an achievement. Not being married at 30, but still happy is beautiful. Starting a family after 35 is still possible. And buying a house after 40 is still great. Don't let anyone rush you with their timelines. Because as Einstein said, not everything that counts can be counted and not everything that's counted truly counts. And this is the most important thing. I want you to be able to create meaningful, purposeful, fulfilling lives for yourselves and learn how to use that to make an impact and a difference in the lives of others. That will be true success. On behalf of all your former tutors, I offer the light of wisdom. Carry this light of wisdom out into the world. And faced with choices and decisions, may wisdom inspire and lead you to goodness and truth. On behalf of the parents and your carers, I offer you this light of love. Carry this light of love with you as you embark on the next chapter of your lives. When you find that the light of love is flickering or threatened, let God shine in your life. On behalf of the staff of the school, I offer you the light of wisdom. Carry this light into the world and face with choices and decisions. May wisdom inspire and lead you to goodness and truth. On behalf of all students, I offer the light of memory. Carry the loving and fun memories of your primary school days, high school days, and sixth form days with you. Remember each other always and hang on to those sacred moments and memories. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm on your face. The rains fall soft on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Every year I include this blessing. This traditional blessing is an ancient Celtic prayer. Celtic literature is famed for using images of nature and everyday life to speak of how God interacts with his people. May the road rise up to meet you. It's about God's blessing for you and your journey. May your walk be an easy one, with no huge mountains to climb or obstacles to overcome. It alludes to three images from nature, the wind, the sun and the rain as pictures of God's care and provision. The wind can be likened to the Spirit of God, who came as a mighty wind of Pentecost. The sun's warmth in the prayer reminds us of the tender mercies of God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, whilst the soft falling rain speaks of God's provision and sustenance. And finally, we are reminded that we are held safe in God's loving hands as we travel on our journey through life.
As you end one journey and begin another, go forth here 13 into the world as people of faith, hope, love and vision. Hold fast that which is good and render to no one any harm. Strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak and vulnerable, help the afflicted, give dignity and respect to all, love and serve the Lord. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let us take the confidence, the pride and the sense of achievement which we have gained here at St. Joseph's. Let God be with us. Your son Jesus was always ready to face any challenge. Help those who are leaving this year to face the future with hope. If by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good or talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose, and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your long, your turn long after they are gone. And so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, Yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. A blessing for parents and carers. Give thanks to God for the gifts which you have shared with your children and the school community. May you faithfully live your vocation to guide your children through life. May you know that God is always present with you in your task of parenting. May you be given strength and courage as you help your children to open up to the boundless, God-given gifts and talents. May God bless you in all that you do. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, your future is in your hands. Enable this year group to walk the earth with respect and care. May they journey in ways of goodness and trust, and be protected from walking away from all that is true. Almighty God, this year group has shared many things over the last seven years. The ties are now broken. We say goodbye and end our year together. Lord, bless each of us, teachers, parents and carers and friends, especially those we will not see again. Keep us all in your care throughout our lives. Guide our steps and strengthen our hearts. We ask this. Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus walk with you on your journey. May God lighten your step and lift your eyes to the horizon. Life is an echo. What you send out comes back. What you sow, you reap. What you give, you get. What you see in others exists in you. Do not judge, so you will not be judged. Radiate and give love and love comes back to you. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. Before the final PowerPoint, I have a little gift for you. I have made you each a keyring to remember your time here at St. Joseph's. Your form tutor will pass the basket around for you. Please take one. You will notice the cross as a reminder of faith and God's love for you. You have an angel wing so that God will carry you through the difficult times and a heart to show that you are loved so very much. Please put these on your car keys or your university room keys 
and be reminded just how special you are. I can see it in your eyes that you are restless The time has come for you to leave It's so hard to let you go But in this life I know you have to be Who you were made to be As you step out on the road I'll say a prayer so that in my heart, you always will be there. This is not goodbye. I know we'll meet again. So let your life begin. Cause this is not goodbye. It's just I love you to take with you until you're Should you stay or turn around? Well, just remember that your dreams, they are a promise That you were made to change the world So don't let fear stop you now Cause this is not goodbye I know we'll meet again so let your life begin, cause this is not goodbye. It's just I love you to take with you until you're home again. Oh, I know the brightest star above was created by the one who loved more than we'll ever know. Started as a still small voice is raging now, and your only choice is to follow who you are. So follow who you are, cause this is not goodbye. I know we'll meet again. Oh, this is not. Just I love you to take with you until you're home. It is I love you to take with you until you're home. It is I love you to take with you until you're home again. You know, one thing to say now you're 13, that is goodbye and good luck. Take care and God bless.